This is Charity and welcome back to Westfall Stories, a Sims 4 series about a challenge I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. We rejoin Eve Westfall as she has maxed her handy skill and is going to remove the last challenge that she's able to remove from the slot, but she also needs to start having a family. So she has a head start with two children, Haley and McKenna are babies, and they should be aging up soon. Their birthday is tomorrow, but it's at 4 a.m., so that's actually in about 7 hours. And our cat count is currently up to 35 cats. So since Even is an adult now, we're actually going to set a curfew. 9 p.m. sounds reasonable. Of course, we have to spray the monster under the bed first. And then we'll go ahead and mop up here because it hasn't been cleaned in who knows how long. Could someone please clean? Go take a shower. You're dirty. You go use the toilet. Stop making a mess. Go to bed. No, you don't want to go pee? Well, do it anyway. You have to pee. Sweetie is now an elder. Since you're up, you can go work on your school project. Alexa, go work on your school project. I have too many projects down there and I need them to be started and finished. Oh, so you'll work on your school project, but you won't go pee. Kaylee, it's time for bed. Wait, do we have two Kaylee? Oh, okay. It's Kaylee and Haley. That's going to confuse me. Why are you not getting in the bed? We'll ask Alexa to go mop the puddles. And Amber, why aren't you working on your school project? Moki has gone into labor as well. You need to go to bed. Come go to bed, Emmanuel. Okay, it's finally the twins' birthday. Haley and McKenna are going to age up into toddlers. Now all of the toddlers are going to be independent except for the heir. Because who has time for that? And here comes McKenna. So the one disadvantage of having a teen get pregnant is unfortunately they don't inherit any of the parents' genetics. So that's why we have random skin colors. Not a problem though. Now one problem of having the ghost urn up here where no one can mourn it is that unfortunately Dermuk has no way down. Maybe I should give him a ladder or something because I feel like he should be able to get out of there. Okay, I guess the next thing we have to do is get over our emotional breakdown. No! Oh, darn it. Mochi just gave birth to a kitten, Nacho, and Franklin, and Fabo. I guess that brings us up to 38 kittens. All of the kids are about to go back to school, but are aged up. Oh, I have not been doing my part for the islands. Okay. I guess it's time to have a kava party. Hopefully it doesn't cost anything to make kava when I have kava root. It's 10 simoleons. That's ridiculous. I have the simple living lot trade on and I have tons of kava root. Oh no, Toonses is passing away. Guess that means we're about to have a lot less cats pretty soon. One reason why I tried not to have stairs because Toddlers can't go upstairs until they're level 2 in movement, and that's so annoying. No, you sleep in the tent, not in the bed. Kitty is now an elder. So I need to set all my fishing traps because all of my tarot roots are gone. Okay, all that woodworking made our funds run out, so we're going to commune with the island and elementals and see if we can sell some things. Are we good? Yes! Oh, look who it is! It's Durbok! The game must have reused him as an island elemental. Well, since the game allows it, I'm going to go and ask him to move in again. Oh no, there's a fire. Where? Did someone call down some volcanic bomb? Oh, over there. Great. I can't do anything while there's a fire. Okay, everybody's super tense. Let's go put the fire out. The poor toddlers were stuck upstairs. Okay, Dermic, I found a loophole where you can join the household again. Romeo aged up and is now an elder. Mochi aged up and is now an elder. Okay, we got island luck again. It's New Year's Eve. We need to do some cleaning. Another fire. Where? Oh, there it is. Chandler is now an elder. Okay, we're going to make a resolution to get a significant other, and we're going to ask Dermuk to be our boyfriend. So that's an easy win. So I was trying to figure out how we got 3,800 simoleons and I reviewed the video. It turns out someone bought that voodoo doll that I had on the table and I just didn't notice at the time. Oh, we finally found a bed 
and a plumbing upgrade part. At least that's a useful part. I get so many electronic and common upgrade parts. It's not even funny. No scratching. I'm going to put this bed inside. Alexa aged up. Yeah, not sure about that outfit. I don't know why they auto-generate with this makeup style because it, it, it just makes them look like a clown. That's much better. We'll just give her a styled outfit. Maurice is also aged up. And yet another one that auto-generated with that makeup style. Finally, we can get around to curing all of our sick cats. Okay, we'll ask Dermuk to be our boyfriend. And he said yes. We need about 7,200 simoleons to pay our bills next week. Which is on Monday. Oh no, who's dying? Myrtle. Okay, so the cats are starting to die now that they're elders. Okay, we finally have enough to pay our bills. Now we have to see if we can get enough to pay off part of our debt. Oh no, there goes another one. Which one is it? Oh, there he is. Burger has passed away. Babo is now an adult. And Franklin is now an adult. Ma'am, hello, how are you doing? Come buy my stuff. Why don't you go take a shower? You are so stinky. Say, go take a shower. I guess Eve won't ask him to shower while she's also tending the table. She won't even ask him to take a shower when she's talking to someone else. So I had to get a new rooster because unfortunately I think the repo people took away all of my chickens except for one hen. So we purchased a new white rooster and we're going to name him Cricket. So now we have Nugget and Cricket. Okay, so Eve wants to become friends with Kaylee, but we're already friends. This kind of annoys me about the new wants and fears system, and sometimes they want things, it says, from being acquaintances. Oh no. So who died this time? Gracie. Okay, so if I just talk to her, then apparently it got rid of that want. Have a child. Okay, she wants to have a child. Yeah, we should probably get started on the next one. Although, Duruk, Derumuk, Durum? Oh my goodness, that name. I have no idea how to say that. Duru, Durumk, Durumk. I thought it was Dermok. What the heck? <laughs> I switched around the U and the M. Okay, I think it's okay if we just try to have the baby. It doesn't necessarily mean we actually have to have the child. I was worried there for a second that it was going to make me wait three days to fulfill that wish. While my cat is dying. Okay, why can't you go inside? Alright, while I'm out here, I will go ahead and pick up the grave. Okay, now you decide to try for baby. That is so annoying. Okay, we also need to feed the toddlers. Why is the rooster crowing? It's 4 p.m. So we'll go ahead and take a pregnancy test. Okay, we used the try for baby interaction, but that did not solve the want. Do we also have to take a pregnancy test and be pregnant? Um... Okay, it's still not working. Do we also have to have the child as I originally thought? Great. No, my clothes! And I can't even change the weather because my hydration is too low. They're going to get soaked again. Great. Oh well, can't do anything about it. And Nacho is becoming an adult cat. So we have no more kittens. For now. Alright, we need to make some more food. I guess we're going to have to call you drunk. That is very hard to say. I guess someone else is hungry because he's either talking to me or helping me cook. Yes, he's helping me cook. Good, I will get more servings out of this. Okay, apparently my toddler is breaking curfew by being off the lot by about two or three steps. McKenna, you have to come back inside. It's past curfew. What are you doing? Okay, he's calling down a fireball. Where is it? There it goes. Don't actually start a fire, please. I don't know why, but randomly he decides to do that. It shouldn't be on the list of autonomous actions. Oh, there's a monster. We have to go spray the monster under the bed. 
Normally the monster under the bed annoys me and I turn it off. But in this case, when you actually have children who should be afraid of the dark, it doesn't make sense to turn it off. So we're going to have to spray the monster every time it pops up. Okay, now he's afraid of the dark. He probably won't sleep very much then. Yes, talk to the monster. That's a better idea. Okay, I've sprayed two monsters under two beds. Oh, I didn't even need to summon the island and elementals. Okay. Let's try a yard sale again. Oh, I was actually able to afford the bills this time, and I have a thousand simoleons, or 999. Almost time for all of the children to be off to school. Poor Franklin, he's sick. We'll take care of that. And it's an earthquake! Oh no, it's actually more volcanic bombs, but this time it's from the volcano and not from my husband. Or boyfriend. We're not married, right? Yeah, I think boyfriend. Okay, I should buy some more vet treats since I'm out. Oh no, my clothes. Not again. Why won't you give me a bath? Drunk. I don't know. Sometimes they get bugged like this where they will not give the toddler a bath. I think it worked this time. And then you need to go potty before you give yourself a dirty diaper again. And then back upstairs to go to sleep. All right, well, all the children are at school. Let's try to make some more money. Okay, hopefully I will get some more terror roots soon because it's very useful to use the pit in order to make food because you don't have to sit there. Oh, it's Emmanuel's birthday. Okay, you need some attention and fun, so where is a cat that you know? How are you able to get out of that fence? I thought you couldn't. Apparently the chickens can get out of the fence. Where is the other chicken? Okay, it's also Amber's birthday today. Okay, so it's all three of the children's birthdays. And maybe we should just age them up in order to get them off of the lot. Which means we need to bake a cake. What? Why are you tired all of a sudden? Exhausted. When will this pregnancy end? Uh, maybe it's because I have random moodlets for pregnancy. I did not remember having that. No, Ooh, my poor laundry. This laundry is never going to get dry. What are you doing? Why are you walking back on the land? Yeah, you can't do that. And why did you swim all the way over there? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what is wrong with this feature, but it doesn't really work very well. Or it all sometimes. Okay, and then that's when I allow myself to cheat the needs. We wasted so much time doing that. Okay, we're going to make a cake for the three cousins that are still children. They're all going to become teenagers. Oh no, who's dying now? Cupcake. One less cat. Okay, well, we're going to reduce the number of sims by four. Okay, this is simple living. Do not eat that cake. All right, Emmanuel, come blow out your candles. And Emmanuel is an overachiever, so maybe we should give him a teen aspiration of goal-oriented. And now for Amber to age up. And she is a goofball, which is the worst two traits to have. Kleptomaniac and goofball. The only thing worse than that is Recycle Disciple. So we're going to make our chief a mischief. And now for the last one. Ely. She's gloomy. Maybe she can be a writer then. Okay, now that the last three cousins have aged up into teens and are going to be moving out with their other cousins, we're going to stop it here and Eve is starting her own family now. So we'll get to see the toddlers possibly age up once they reach all of their skills to level five. And then we'll also get a chance to see if Eve has twins again or maybe just one child this time. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. See you next time.